I, I've never been to London. I haven't even like. I mean, I've seen like pictures and stuff like that, but um, it kind of sucks that we're going there to play because we're more so going to be focused on that. But um, it'll be a fun experience nonetheless. So I'm excited for it. Is it hard when you guys know that you have a game and you're trying to focus on that, but it, there is a big distraction because this week is not very normal? Um, I would say it's even tougher because like right now, like we're about to leave, and like, but we don't play for another couple of days. It kind of feels like because normally when we leave, we play the next day. So uh, that's kind of weird. Like I feel like everybody's kind of like on edge, like we're about to play. But um, once we get there, I feel like we'll settle in and everything will feel normal. Are you good at sleeping on planes? That's the advice everyone's given. Sleep yeah, yeah, I can sleep like whenever. That's like one of my like hidden talents. Like I can just fall asleep whenever. So I'm excited for that too. So your goal is to sleep tonight? Hundred percent, the whole time. Yeah. What's your go-to? You put in some like easy listening. Yeah. Uh, take some night. Yeah. What do you do? Probably some easy listening. I don't really need any night or nothing like that. Uh, I can just close my eyes, shut my head off, and normally I fall asleep. So. Um, I'm glad I can do that because I don't want to be up the whole plane ride. That'd be bad. Who's most likely to wake you up on a plane? So, hundred <laughs> percent. Actually, there's a couple guys. You got So, you got Ja, uh, probably Eric. Um, other than that, I feel like everybody else let you sleep. No, besides all your buddies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The knuckleheads. Is there anything you're looking forward to doing over there? Have you put much thought into that yet? Um. No, nah, not really. Uh, I haven't even really looked at our schedule, to be honest. So I don't even know, like, how everything's going to work out. I know Coach told us we can't fall asleep when we get there or something like that. Like, no naps or something. But um, So we're going to have to find something to do during those hours. But uh, I don't really have anything planned yet. Just kind of go as we go, I guess. Football-wise, biggest challenge with uh, Saquon Barkley? Um, we just got to we gotta get we'll all get to the ball. Um, 11 has to the ball every play. Uh, he's going to break some tackles. It's just, just what he does, who he is. So, um... You know, but but the, the faster we get to the ball, you know, the uh, the effects of a missed tackle are less. So um, we just got to be ready to play harder, play longer than, than them, really. So um, it's definitely going to be a challenge, but I'm aware for it. Have you ever played against a quarterback who's had an ankle injury before? And if so, in what ways has that affected how he played against you? Not off the top of my head. Uh, I don't know, because um, you never know with ankles. You know, they're kind of unpredictable. Um, I don't think anybody really knows how bad it is except for them over there. So, um, you know, we're going to expect them to, to play the way he's been playing. He runs around a little bit. So, um, you know, we'll be ready for that. If it is, if he is banged up and he's got to sit there in the pocket, we'll be ready for that too. So, When you look at your run defense, it's probably not up to your guys' standard. Is that a point of emphasis this week at practice and moving forward? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, we always want to, you know, improve what – uh, we didn't feel like it was up to you know the standard like you said. So, uh, um, so yeah. Seems to be an ongoing thing in the locker room. That's what I'm saying. You what I'm about? And you don't think he's gonna wake me up? <laughs> you feel me? See, see, and then he gonna he gonna chime in. Um, back to the run game. Uh, it's definitely a point of emphasis. You know, that's something that we want to tighten up on. Um, and I think it'll it'll happen over time. You know, uh, just with with getting used to playing each, with each other and stuff like that, trusting each other to be in the right gaps, not trying to do too much. Uh, we got a lot of good players, so um, I feel like we can kind of make plays whenever. We just gotta pick and choose when we we try to you know go for those big plays. So I think we'll be fine. Some of your teammates have talked about how it's a once in a lifetime experience, and they want to experience some of the culture there. Yeah. And Matt Lafleur's talked about how sightseeing for the off season. If you want to go back on your own, go back yeah. on your own. How do you view it as a young guy who hasn't been over there before, but understands um, it's a business trip? Too? Yeah, it's a business trip, but I mean. He can't tell us that we can't take any naps, but you know what I'm saying? We, so we got to sit cooped up in the hotel room the whole time. So that's not cool. But um, I think he, he knows he's got a lot of guys in here that are focused on the task at hand, and that's, that's going down there to win a football game. So um, he trusts us to make the right decisions. I know he's, he's saying that um, you know we're not going there for a vacation or whatever like that, but uh, we know why we're going there. So I think we'll be okay. Knowing the difference in feel between a winning plane flight and a losing plane flight, and knowing this one's going to be an eight-hour plane flight, yeah. how much do you want it to be a winning I didn't even think about it like that. Uh, I don't care if it's eight hours, 40 minutes. You know, that plane play is, if, if, you, if you're coming off a loss, um, seems like your body's more sore. Everything is kind of just, you know, just kind of compiles. So um, definitely be better after a win, 100%. But either way, I'll probably sleep. So we'll What are you right. expecting fan-wise over there? I don't know what to expect, honestly. I haven't even, like, seen any pictures of the stadium we're playing in, none of that kind of stuff. So um, it's Packer fans all over the world. So. 
Um, I'm sure I will see some some cheese heads out there. So that's always exciting because like no matter where we go, it's a chance that it's a home game for us. So I think that's pretty cool. A lot of injuries to their wide receiver core. What do you notice about the Giants passing game? Um, they, well, they, they, with those injuries, you know, they, they kind of have a lot of guys that are all they're all hands on deck, really. So, uh, you know, they got a lot of guys that have been making plays for them over there. Um, Saquon's been big in the passing game for them as well. So uh, we just got to be ready to, to guard who, whoever's out there because, um, you know, they've been throwing the ball around a little bit to everybody. So uh, we just got to be ready for it.